Hi, uh, my name is Bruce Resnick, the Executive Director of San Diego Coastkeeper. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak this morning. Um, and I am representing one of those groups that uh, is working with um, the city and Surfrider Foundation on this cooperative agreement, which also has support uh, from Sierra Club and Audubon Society, who may uh, in the future sign on. Um, and essentially, this uh, cooperative agreement would allow us to not oppose or litigate over the waiver, uh, something we had done in 2002 an agreement for a um, comprehensive assessment of looking at ways that we can maximize water reclamation throughout the city of San Diego and minimize ocean discharge with an ultimate goal uh, in my heart of, of eliminating all ocean discharge. Um, we think this agreement uh, actually is something that in the long-term interest of San Diego, uh, this kind of comprehensive look, is something that really could chart a new course for San Diego in our water and wastewater policy. Now, I do want to make thing one, one thing very clear. We, we don't like the waiver. Uh, we sued over 2000, in 2002 over the previous waiver, which led to the 05 water reuse study, which led to the pilot indirect potable reuse project that this council had approved to move forward, which if su successful, can lead up to 16 million gallons of water reclamation from North City uh, going into uh, augment our local San Vicente Reservoir to enhance uh, our water security uh, at the same time we decrease ocean discharge. And we don't like that San Diego is the only waiver holder left in the state of California and the last major waiver holder in the country. Um, however, uh, we think the time has come and circumstances have changed to frankly move beyond the debate about secondary treatment uh, for a number of reasons. One is there's increasing body of evidence that secondary treatment, even if we did go to that, does not address the pharmaceuticals, the cosmetics, the household products, the other emerging contaminants. So we would almost immediately be investing up to a billion dollars in a technology that from our standpoint would be outdated almost the time it went in. Second, since 2002, we have an increasing awareness of our water shortage, increasing studies that the Colorado River, our leading source of water, is at historic lows. The Scripps study saying that Lake Mead uh, has a 50 percent chance of going dry by 2021. We've had the Delta smelt decision that's cutting water from the Northern California, the Delta. Um, back in 02, the historic droughts that San Diego and, and everywhere in the arid Southwest are in were just starting. We're now in our eighth, ninth year. Water is our most precious resource. We need to look at a strategy that's beyond secondary treatment that focuses on taking our most precious commodity and figuring out ways that we can protect our water security, enhance that through water reclamation and reuse. It's time for San Diego to be visionary. We're too often accused the city of not being visionary, and I think we as environmentalists were there. Um, and look at an, an assessment that, like I said, maximizes water uh, reclamation and reuse, and look not towards secondary, but to the ultimate goal of the Clean Water Act, which is eliminating all ocean discharge. Uh, so my goal is, is when we hear in five years that we'll all be standing together with no waiver application uh, and a long-term strategy to uh, uh, eliminate all discharge into our ocean. Thank you, Mr. Resnick. Thank you very much.